it's Tuesday and I just wanted to give you a heads up because most people understand that, you know, coming up to Halloween, All Hallows Eve, All Saints Day, that, that whole transformational time in our calendar uh, really talks about the fluctuations and the embracing and the duality of our nature and all of the things that have to do with what we consider shadow work, shadow world, shadow self. Uh, basically, it's kind of like, you know, your evil twin. Um, and a lot of times we see those reflections with situations w with ourselves. So like we could um, have something go terribly wrong and we're hungry and we're tired and the worst case of our self comes out to face that situation in a way that we wouldn't normally. And then we have to accept the fact that that happened and we have to deal with it and hope that it, it doesn't happen again. Or sometimes we have to remember how powerful that side of us truly is and how necessary it is because we all love the whole love and light thing but let me tell you bitches get shit done <laughs> it's true okay so the fact that we have an inner bitch that comes out when she's supposed to or when we're really hungry you know uh, we need to kind of learn to use that part of ourselves to the best of our ability um, in some situations, it's things that may happen around us and our reaction to that inner or outer is what counts. Um, uh, an associate, an associate lost uh, an adopted brother to addiction. And there were people that were not as kind as they should have been. Uh, you know, it, if you haven't dealt with addiction in your uh, personal familial life, in your friend life, in your coworker life, um, then you you literally can't understand. A view of perspective from the outside is one that can very easily say addiction is a choice. They shouldn't do drugs. They shouldn't drink. They shouldn't gamble. They shouldn't hoard. But when you see it from a different perspective, and you may have a, a personal touch. Um, I know that everyone in our family has an addictive personality. Um, I don't drink by choice. Uh, also, ever since, you know, the kids, it makes me sick, so whatever. But it's no big loss to me. I don't, I don't drink. Um, gambling. I absolutely understand how the pull of gambling can pull people in. Uh, it's, it's a happy, safe space and all you have to do is push buttons and sometimes good things happen that's I mean that's that's very easy to understand that that is a fantastic escape habit um, alcohol you don't have to feel whatever it is that you don't want to process through same things with drugs I guess just on a different level I'm not sure like I I, I literally haven't done drugs before uh, goody two-shoes whatever I I never smoked because my father smoked, uh, and it's, it's gross. I don't, it's not a habit I want in my life. Uh, I've never done drugs again because I know, I know that everyone in our family has a different personality. So like that's, that's my choice. Um, but I absolutely understand how escaping something you don't want to deal with would be great. Like <laughs> I get that. I totally get that. Um, but we can't comment on something that isn't ours like you should someone just died give that person love and support it's not that hard uh but now that person has to deal with being a butthole you know um so there are situations that could happen around us that we have to reflect on and you know sometimes we may see someone do stupid something stupid and be like damn i i hope i never do anything like that and that may be that reality that a situation may come up and be like, wait, I've already seen this played out. I'm not going to do that. Uh, you may have someone come to you with something. The ex. The, I like really is, I don't ask that much. I don't. Uh, but yeah, yeah. There are absolutely situations from exes, uh, from bosses, uh, from people in perceived power whether it's the president or whoever, uh, that are, are going to be grading on us. And we have to realize that unless you give someone power to upset you, 
hold on to your power. Don't let it go. You can still be validly upset and validly angry and validly, ah! Uh, but deal with it in a way that best suits the situation. For me, it's calling my lawyer. <laughs> uh, but like, it, it's, it's mostly stupid stuff that we know better. But for whatever reason, in the moment that it happens, we may make bad decisions because we're human and it happens. That's, that's, that's the life that we're living, okay? We chose to go through this obstacle course <laughs> and, and we're, we're navigating as best we can and as we learn, we navigate better. This time of the year is essentially all about that, okay? Um, some people embrace shadow work in the deep heart of winter. That's fine. It starts now. <laughs> it starts two weeks before the holiday and continues on through winter. Um, a lot of people deal with the deep, deep hurt of winter differently because it is different, okay? Right now, we're celebrating the last harvest and we are preparing ourselves for the death of the season, which is winter, winter, okay? We're not, we're not to winter yet, don't, yeah. When we get to winter, we celebrate that period of rest that period of uh, death of something, uh, big changes, uh, loneliness, how we deal with ourself and only ourself, um, how we support and network out to others. So like after the holidays come, everything's kind of a bummer until spring. That's, that's kind of the spirit of this season. So a lot of times people will prepare now for that season, which is very wise because if we know, again, I know that addiction runs in my family. So if I know that seasonal depression runs in my family, I will already be preparing. I will sign, I, if it were me, I would sign up for classes because that's, that's the challenge this week is education. Uh, maybe I'd sign up for some in-person art classes at the library. Uh, we have a few studios around here that do things on the cheap because you're going to be poor after Christmas. So I mean, that's kind of that's kind of an accepted thing. Uh, I, I encourage you all to not do that and to give small, thoughtful gifts to friends and family um, and to certainly not drive yourself broke and in debt during the holiday season. But it, it's kind of the American way, so I, I get it, all right? But you, you have to be prepared. How are you going to live when you're broke? How are you going to get through the season when you're broke? And you literally have, you know, no, no fun money because you're paying off bills. Uh, are you going to stock up on books? Are you going to go to the library? Like, have a plan to get through that season, okay? Um, now, now is the time to start thinking about that. So, dealing with the shadow stuff, this is really the, the entrance. Like, two weeks before the holiday. So, we're already kind of on our way, which makes sense. So, things are ramping up and getting kind of annoying. You can't let it get to you. You have to. You have to. You have to Elsa that shiznit. it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Let me know. Uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I already have a little tutorial thing I'm gonna watch later. I'm making uh, hand warmers for myself and the kids. The little gloves instead of uh, uh, not gloves. Instead of gloves and mittens for the kids because Dean doesn't like his um, his fingers and gloves. So I'm making fingerless hand covers out of fleece so that hopefully he'll he'll tolerate those instead of gloves we're gonna test them man special needs kids are are phenomenal I can't even I can't even brag enough but another one of those things that uh can be a bit aggravating as the seasons change there's always something or someone in need uh and I would encourage you to start your giving now uh, I already signed on to volunteer with an absolutely fantastic women's giving circle organization uh, and help and teach and actually teach. So not just learning, but also teaching others is, uh, is a really good theme for this week as well. If there's someone that you can help tutor or teach, uh, jump on that bandwagon now. I got to email them. I got to email them. Um, but yeah, get on it. Have a good week. Stay sane. 
pamper yourself however you need to bribe yourself through the day. I don't care if it's with food, if it's with uh, bad TV, whatever you got to do to get through the day, uh, do it. And also, Kristen, thinking of you. Love you, girlfriend. Bye.